I'm guessing you know what a sales or a marketing funnel is, right? And are you one of those people that maybe you think the funnel, oh, it's just not working. Some people swear by them and some people think they're just absolutely rubbish. And that's why in this video, I want to talk about what makes funnels go wrong. My name is Gwyneth and I specialize in helping fabulous women entrepreneurs just like you to acknowledge and charge what you are worth and to help you package up your expertise into services so that you are building your brand, nailing your niche, using systems and processes to give you the business freedom you wanted when you started out in business in the first place. So first of all, you know, what is a funnel? What is a marketing or a sales funnel? Well, literally, I'm sure you've seen them. The, the graphics, it's kind of wide at the top and it's not so wide at the bottom. It gets narrower as you go down. And the entire funnel um, concept was developed by a chappie called um, St. Louis, St. Elmo Lewis, beg your pardon, in 1898. He was the person, he was the kind of, he started off as a traveling salesman and then uh, went big into advertising. He was the person who kind of developed the concept of, um, Awareness, interest, I've written it down, desire and action. So A-I-D-A. -A. And that, you know, that's what a lot of people use for a very, very long time when it came, came to attracting um, clients. But one of the problems with a funnel is that because you are in the beginning, you're, you're kind of just building awareness. You might know who you're talking to, but it can be quite difficult to be specific about who you are wanting to attract unless you are advertising then you can get very specific about who you are advertising to so but one of the big drawbacks about funnels unless you have got a huge marketing budget is that you know you're going to have to spend money to get anything out of it the statistics say that approximately for every 100 people who start off in that funnel um you know only between one and three are actually going to buy from you that's a that's a very small conversion for a lot of um effort so that's one of the reasons you know funnels love them or hate them uh, but it can be very vague if you if you haven't got the the money to spend on the advertising budget but the three reasons that marketing funnels actually fail number one if you are selling services it is very difficult for people to decide just like that yes i'm going to sign up for this yes i'm going to give this person money if you're selling products if it's a marketing funnel or sales funnel for products people can see what they are getting and i'm sure you've seen the advertisements on television mattresses that's something that springs to mind right now you know we've reduced the price of our mattress and you see the price actually going down 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 on the screen and when you get a, a, a mattress you know we'll give you a couple of pillows and you can sleep on it for 100 days and if you don't like it we'll come and pick it up and all of this messaging is, uh, you know, whilst you actually see two people fast asleep, very happy on the mattress, you can see, you know what the experience is going to be like. You can really feel what it's going to be to have um, that mattress. So when it comes to selling products, funnels can be very useful. Services, completely different kettle of fish. You are trying to convince people about how it is going to feel to work with you, how they are going to feel when you have transformed their lives. And that's very, very difficult to do just through um, potentially uh, something they download from your from your website, you know, an ebook, or maybe they come onto a workshop, or maybe you've invited them into your Facebook group and you've got their email address and you start writing to them. The process is much, much longer when you are um, selling services and it can get very, very frustrating. I know I've been there and this is why I've looked at my own funnels to see what I could do um, differently. The second reason that your funnel might not be working, something that can go very wrong with funnels, is particularly if you are selling to other women in business or, or women in general, although we come to the planet with the same number of brain cells and our physiology with regards to our brain is quite similar, men and women, this is a general statement, that's my disclaimer, men and women tend to think in different ways. And there was a, a big study done by the um, University of pa uh, Pennsylvania about well, not quite 10 years ago now, the National Academy of Sciences, where they actually came up with some fa fantastic graphics that I'm just going to put on screen now that show where women 
um, where the, the majority of their brain activity is. So I'm just going to show you this now because it's absolutely fascinating. So the top two, you can see these are men's brains. The processes seem to be very much more linear, strategic, um, thinking things through logic, whereas women the activity in their brains is very much more in the front very much you know emotional women are by uh, nature nurturers uh, you know women aren't worried about speaking to girlfriends about their problems pouring out their you know their hearts to each other um, i appreciate these are very general statements and that is my disclaimer but if you are selling to women and you are trying to use a logical process or, um, you know, logical phrases or very plain language, um, you're probably not going to connect with them. It's as simple as that. So I'm just going to stop the share now. If you want to go and look at that, a fascinating study. Absolutely fascinating study. So that's the second reason that funnels can, can fail is because men and women simply do not use the same parts of their brain to make a decision to buy from you and the third reason that marketing funnels fail is because you are not following up now this might sound very basic and very simple but i have to remind myself every single time i'm doing a youtube video i've got a, a sticker here that now says tell people to like share and comment because if i just finish the video and the the end um cards say you know do you want to watch the next video and you say no i've lost you if i tell you if i ask you to like share and comment you are more likely to do it we're having a conversation we're already building that relationship to a certain extent and then if you really want to find out more you'll read more in the description you'll go and look in the comments have i got something there is there something for you to download do you want to get on a call with me but so frequently you people you know um, on their website if there's a free download and like i said instant gratification you know trying to convince somebody about your services and how it's actually going to feel to work with you is so much more difficult than selling products but if you then get that email address and never email them ever again well, that's just complete and utter rubbish isn't it if you um invite people to come onto a workshop and then you don't send the login details i mean how stupid is that but you know what it happens or inviting people to come into your group on facebook I hope that you've got one of the questions for for people being approved coming into your Facebook group to give you their email address. Again, some people then just never bother to follow up. They assume that because somebody's come into the group, they're going to hang on their every word and watch every video they do. And it's simply not true. So on the one hand, whilst I've said that women need to understand the emotional benefits of what it is you're selling, um, if you're selling services, at the same time, human beings want structure, they want process. What do I do next? Guide me, lead me, tell me what it is you want to do. If I'm interested in this, how can I learn more? Now, there is actually a fourth reason why your marketing funnel, your sales funnel might completely fail. So here's a bit of a bonus. And that is when what you are saying to the person, the lead that you want to bring into your funnel, what when you are giving them a lead magnet or an invitation to join something and your product, your coaching program, whatever it is, is then something completely different when there's no match between the purpose of your funnel and the outcome that's a very um, good reason why your marketing or sales funnel might fail as well so i've just shared with you three reasons why your marketing or sales funnel um, will fail the um number one is that uh you know services and products completely different styles of selling people can see products they can already visualize that bed or that pillow or that reading lamp in their living room um services and products are very different with services you really have to work a lot harder to help the person that you are selling to marketing to to understand how it's going to feel to work with you second of all men and women 
it doesn't work the same way. Men are very much more, in general, strategic thinking, logical thinking. Women are, are much more, you know, full of empathy and, and feeling and emotion. And uh, so the way that you, you phrase your, your marketing to them is going to have to be very, very different. And um, number three is that you just don't ask them <laughs> to do anything else or you don't follow up on the call to action that you've included in the funnel and then it all goes blah, horribly wrong. And number four, as I just said, the purpose of your funnel and the outcome, the two don't match, there's no alignment. If you have enjoyed this video, please do like, comment, share. Until next time, Stay safe, stay healthy, stay fabulous. Loads of love and bye for now.